a woman survivor of human trafficking was in a meeting that I joined. She said, it's charming how you Americans are so uh, concerned with animal rights. That's good. But there are human beings who are being treated worse than animals, and right here in the United States and Washington. My wife, also a political scientist, was worried that if, as uh, ambassador to combat human trafficking, that it would be very dispiriting, it would be psychologically scarring. I actually found it very inspiring, and, and um, I continue to. There are um, three inspiring groups I've seen. Now, first of all, if you get to talk to survivors, you know, I talked to young women who were migrants from Myanmar into, into Thailand who were brutally mistreated as forced laborers, but they survived. Civil society actors around the world who despite very little money, oftentimes governments who see them as pesky burrs in their side rather than partners, um, they continue to work to fight human trafficking, um, whether they're survivors or not, uh, in situations against all odds. But finally, to me, and especially in an era of petulant partisanship in the United States, um, strange bedfellows coming together to work on human trafficking in the first place and continuing to is inspiring. What's the issue where you can really count on Republicans and Democrats, liberals and conservatives, secular and faith-based groups to come together as human trafficking?